Hi and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus. Way the heck back in August of 2009, I posted an article on my website about how to print an image on multiple pages. In other words, you take an image, a photo, you print it on, you know, 2x2, two 3x3, two, three three, 16 pages, whatever you want. Uh, that article was by far the most popular article I ever published on my website. Um, apparently a lot of people were wanting to know how to do it. Uh, I had a couple comments on that article recently and it made me think because Microsoft recently announced that the paint application that comes with Windows, which is what most people would use to print an image on multiple pages, as I described in my article, this paint application is going to uh, undergo an overhaul. Now I'm guessing based on the fact that it's Microsoft, that means that the new version of Paint will no longer allow you to print an image on multiple pages. I don't know for sure yet, but I'm guessing. After all, it's Microsoft. So the question is, uh, how are we going to print images on multiple pages in the future? So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to show you the trick in Microsoft Paint, and then I'm going to show you two other options that will allow you to print an image on multiple pages with applications you already have. Okay, so the first way that you can print an image on multiple pages is to use Microsoft Paint. So what we're going to do is click Start and type Paint, run the Paint app, and there you go. I'm going to open a file I have here. Uh, where are my pictures? Uh, nice handsome doggy. And okay, there you go. That's the image I want to print on multiple pages. So all I'm going to do is go up here to File, and I go to print, and then page setup. And you'll see here there's this gray square with an X through it that shows that the image of the handsome doggy here is going to be printed on a single piece of paper. I'm using A4 size, you may use letter. Pick the proper paper size, and then just come down here in scaling and say fit to, uh, let's say, two by two pages. And as you can see, the gray box over here changed to show that he's actually going to be printed on four pages instead of one. You click OK, and then you come back up to File, Print, and you pick your color printer, and you click Print, and you're off and running. Now the second technique is, surprisingly enough, using Adobe Acrobat. The Adobe Acrobat Reader DC, I believe, is the latest version. You can download that for free. I'll put a link in the description. And what you're going to do for that is you're going to find your image again here, and you're going to open it, which will open it in the Windows 10 Photos app. You then click the Print button. And you're not going to actually print it, you're going to do Microsoft Print to PDF. And of course you can you can pick your, your proper paper size, whatever you want, blah blah blah. And then you just come down here and say print. Now what you're going to do, we'll put him in the same pictures folder and we're going to give him a name. Sebastian.pdf. Save it. And now you can close the Photos app. And here you see you have uh, a PDF. So we're just going to double click and open that PDF in Acrobat. And now what you're going to do is click the print button and select poster. And as you can see, if uh, I print it at 100%, it's going to be on two different pages. So you just play with the scale here. You can say, well, 200%, hit the tab key or click over here. Okay, that's six pages. So let me change it to maybe 190%. Click over here again. No, let's say 170 because I want four pages. There you go. So you just play around a little bit with the, the, the tile scale here until you get it the proper size you want on the number of pages you want. And when you're done, you change to your actual color printer first, otherwise you'll print another four page PDF, and then you just click the print button. Now I recommend using either paint or Adobe Acrobat Reader to print on multiple pages, but if both of those options doesn't work, there's a third option. And surprisingly enough, that third option is Microsoft Excel. Yes, Excel. <laughs> Go figure. So we're going to come in here, we're going to run Excel. I have a very old Excel 2010, but no matter. And then we're going to come up here to the Insert tab, and we're going to say Insert a Picture, and I'm going to pick my, my photo of the doggy again, and just click Insert. And there you go, you have an image of a handsome doggy in Excel. Now you're going to click File, Print, and okay, as you can see, 
let's select our color printer and right we want to select the proper paper size okay now as you can see it's kind of weird it's kind of cutting him off i could uh, uh change it to landscape orientation okay that's better but it's only on one page so what you want to do here is click page setup and you can try to use fit to down here usually it does uh some silly things the better thing to do is click page setup and just use the zoom here like we can say 200 percent okay and then you can see that's going to be nine pages okay now we don't want that so so we'll say 150. as you can see yeah that's there you go now it'll print on four pages as you can see it doesn't do quite the same job that uh, microsoft paint and acrobat do so this one is a little bit iffy but you can do it with microsoft excel so there you go if you can't use microsoft paint to print an image on multiple pages you can also use acrobat and even microsoft excel who knew and when you're done you just print and you'll have a lovely lovely image just like that one for more techie tips see scottystech.info thanks for watching see you next time